Hi everyone, this is Caleb, back with game number three of Jadong versus First. Now the names aren't right there, so I'm going to get rid of it. But anyway, uh, game number three of this best of five. Can Jadong pull it off? He's a very good player, but first, did fight his way to get here. You cannot underestimate the prowess of this Protoss. So, the question is, are we going to make the same mistakes we made last game? First, made the mistake of doing the exact same build, very minor modifications when he saw the Roach Den, but then made no other modifications. He was like, I'm going to keep making Colossus because they're so good versus Roaches. Eh, not super true. Maybe some more morals would have been useful. Maybe the sentries weren't so useful, that many, versus Roaches. Versus so many links, it's a brilliant move. But when you see your opponent doing something else, you've got to you've got to change your build. You just have to. Um, Jadong read him, read him like an open book and said, I know what you're going to do. You're going to do the same thing you did last game. And you know what? You're not even going to change. I'm going to show you my Roach Den. I know you can go Phoenix. I mean, I can't stop you. But instead of, you know, surrounding the world with spore crawlers and queens so you don't see my roaches, just, pff, I'm going to put them right out there for you. You're going to see it. Pff, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. And um, I just wanted to say that. I really did. But I feel I feel dirty for saying it now. Um, and he said, I'm going to modify the way I play to the way you play. You're going Colossus? I'm going to go Roach. I'm going to not be so focus, focused on my lings. And I'm going to come in on you. And I'm going to beat you up. You know what? That last game, you knew how to engage me on your terms on that final battle. I lost a lot of units because you funneled me. I need to make a change and make sure I engage in a, in a manner that suits me. And so he did. That last battle come, of the last match, game number two, and he said, you know what? Engaging you on my terms, I'm going to know exactly how to pincer you because that's going to be your weakness. You've got force fields. You better know him real well. And you know what? He did fail with a couple of those force fields. He's very, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I would be scared if I saw Protoss not using force fields. But you can't have, you gotta, you got to be economy here, buddy. You can't have so many if you're not going to be able to use them effectively. you got to switch over to a couple of units that you're going to be able to use effectively. You know what? That last engagement would have gone better if you had one, maybe two less sentries and another immortal. You've got to make this, these tough decisions. And you know what? These professional gamers are making these decisions the split second, instantly. And I, I give them so much credit for this. But you know what? I'm a commentator, and I've got to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. And the only way to do that is to bring them down so I can bring myself up. I mean, <laughs> that's what I did in high school. <gasps> no, that's what people did to me. I got put in a dumpster in the corner and beaten on. But that's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> Repress memories. Um, so, Forge Fast Expand. Predicted. Uh, triple. Exp or I guess you call it double expansion. Predicted. Um, so it's going to open up the same way. Please, uh, I'm going to make a prediction here that if first does the same thing, he's going to lose. Jadong already has shown he knows how to adjust his play. And if West first matches that up and also learns how to make sure to engage in those good engagements that get him good positioning, he's going to lose. You've got to learn to adapt your play. And not even adapting your play, just make these good battle decisions when you know your opponent is so good at it. You've got to boost that up. Maybe you're going to have to lose a little something else to boost up that one thing. But your opponent has, you've got to match him. Um, so Jadong, again, as any good player does, scouts it, make sure it's happening. Um, and as Protoss, what's this scouting going on? It's like the same thing. This, this little pro gets caught every game. He's detected the, th the three uh, hatcheries. So they both know what each other are doing. There's that, uh, there's that, uh, Zelnaga Tower. Remember earlier we were talking about how, like, it's been, you know, some, some map mechanics have been taken out, uh, that the Ad Starcraft did, has added in, and the rocks have, oh, oh, he destroyed that. The rocks have always been a big joke, um, <laughs> and he was the point where Dustin Browder on the forums, his image is a rock, I think it's great. Um, they have been a little more embraced, I think, but you know what, Blizzard has been making these maps in conjunction with others. And bringing their maps in, but Blizzard now with the whole WCS has been able to make all ladder maps. They publish them online, and you've got to pick from these maps if you're in WCS. So they're naturally going to highlight some of the mechanics they brought in uh, because they want this poor little salad. Uh, oh yeah, you better run away, little thing. You know the game intuition of these people. I bet you Jay Dong was like, you know, what? a stalker's coming out. I know it. I gotta get this lane running away. Oh, physics on that one. Um, and ran away. The game sets on these guys are incredible. To save one lane, 25 minerals. But you know what? It's important to him. And he knows that this early in the game, you want every, every advantage you can get. But he's going to move out. He's going to do a little harass with a zealot and a stalker. You know, 
Um, a lot of times, it's early in the game, you won't find a lot of personal players making too many as early as they're going for a rush. So, you know what, this can be an effective little combat. But you know what, instead of combating, you know what, he's just going to see, I'm going to take these towers. I'm going to leave a zealot here because, you know what, I leave a probier is going to die pretty quick to a link. This way, I could take two links, maybe three, depending on, you know, what positioning, and I can handle it. Um, very smart move. And he brings the stalker to make sure if there's anything already there that they would, uh, that he would overwhelm it. And my keys are stuck. There we go. And there goes down an overlord. But still, um kind of supply box but not you know in the red and boom there comes the overlord he already had it planned out this uh this is professional gamers guys he brings enough links to destroy the zealot sell it in good position that he can kill oh jadong doesn't lose a single link four of them down to the point where one more shot would have crushed him and he wow look at the look at these two players look at them this is adorable look at these guys he knew to bring a zealot in a place where only two maybe three links at him at a time and he knew how to get his lings out of there before they would die. Just the level of professionalism here is, is literally outstanding. I use the word literally wrong, and that irritates me so hardcore when people do it. So um, I'm never going to do that again. Ever. Lings coming in here. Uh, not going to do much. Does he, he does lose one ling. Uh, nope, because that mothership core does nothing. Um, it's gonna run away with just enough hit points to survive. Um, splitting up, that mushroom core is never gonna catch up to these guys. Now, um, Jadong does have the towers. He does have essentially what you would call map control. When you have these towers and um, your opponent hasn't moved out, you really have map control. Um, he's gonna check to make sure that that map control is secure with no hidden expansions. In comes Hallucinated Phoenix. Now this is what I was talking about. Thank you first. First, this is amazing. What First is doing is saying, you know what? You think I'm going Phoenix? Let me play with your mind. So guess what? Hallucinated Phoenix. Now you think I'm going Phoenix. Isn't that amazing? Oh no, I'm going Phoenix. Oh, be super scared. I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do before. You're probably going to be like, oh, I know what he's going to do. But you know what? You don't know what I'm going to do. This is a fake thing. But most unfortunately, the first unit he, he found was the Overseer. So if Jadong was quick and saw that, he would have known that that was a hallucination. Hi, little guy. Um, so he is most likely detected. And you know what? There's an overlord in here earlier. And it's based what, going around. Oh, but that was very early. There's no buildings there. So, you know, I was going to say he would have known that there's no Stargate here. But no, um, he hasn't been in there anytime recently. Wow. Is it? Oh, look at that surrounded. Look at that. Can Lings even get to that? That's so perfect. Um, wow. So, you know what? If he didn't see that that was a, a detection... Uh, a hallucination, then uh, he might be expecting the same old play. Well, here's how we can solve that. If he is building a spore crawler, is he building? He's not. It was not fooled. Oh, oh, Jadon was not fooled. You can't fool him. Oh, I missed an engagement. Replay. I love this little name map. Tells you so you can see you don't go too far from the battle. Let's look at this battle. A couple roaches. He's going to split them up like normal. Waste all the force fields on a group of six roaches. You know what? Now when these roaches come in from the bottom, where are your force fields at? You have any left? I doubt it. And if so, only a few. And you know what? He only has a couple. And there comes the recall. Phenomenal. Um, this is a great play by both players. Jadong was in there. He was ready to make him waste those force fields on a couple of roaches. Only two of which died. Or a few of which died. I'm sorry. And then he comes up from behind him and saying, whoop your butt. And you know what? First is like, you know what? I'm wise to your game. Boom, 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 bam. Recall. Where are those queens at? I'm sorry. Does we not have a lot of early anti-air? Take advantage of it. Here it comes. All right. Now, uh-oh. J-Dong's going to be pincered here. He is not getting a good positioning. Now, first has the good positioning. But he's going to break down that, that forge. Oh, the force fields. Oh, he's... Oh, happening here? The force fields aren't super helpful because the roaches are still in range. But you know what? It does keep them... From getting an, a super good concave, and that's good. Um, but the roaches from the bottom coming in, the links coming in, that's gonna make a difference. Uh, two changelings, not sure why they're there, but that's great. But he's gonna move in, he's try to get that better positioning. First has learned his lesson. He's gotten two engagements here where he had better positioning than his foe. Wow, this is amazing. This is StarCraft. And two seconds of silence just to calm you guys down. So many links here. Uh, he's switching to links. This is good. He said, you know what? He's, he's seen my roaches this time. He's not bothering with those Colossus, those dirty, dirty Colossus. 
Um, is he even? Nope. Nope, not even. Has he even made for detection? <gasps> wow, he went just gateway. He went blink. He's gotten the plus one armor and attack. He got stalkers. He was countering the roaches he knew were coming with a hallucinated phoenix. He's made decisions to change his play. First, as a fighting shot, because he learned his lessons from the past game. That's amazing. That's professional StarCraft. I would not have made that decision. Coming in here, a um, couple cor corruptors. That's curious. Is that a, just a bad rally? What are they? What are you doing? What are you doing? Corruptors, what are you doing? What are you doing there, guy? What you, what you doing? What you, what you doing over there? What you, what you doing, guy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. buddy what you doing over there? Okay, well, he is just going to scout. And he's like, can't take care of... Oh, 15 health. Look at that. And he's going to survive. Um, hmm. A lot of cans around. Interesting. What is he expecting? Is he expecting mutalisks? No, that's that's to defend against the lings coming in the base. It's hard for them to get over there. What is this? Uh, I probably missed a super big engagement. A lot of lings here. See now, J Dong says lings versus stalkers equal me win. Oh wow! Oh wow! J Dong had that in the bag. Force fields were good, but you know what? He went around in a circle. But let's look at this engagement right here. And the force fields keeping him in. The links can't get in right now. It is only those mutalisks. But you know what? There are so many mutalisks. He's even. Did he get the forge cannon? No, he did not. Oh wow! 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 Good job, first. <laughs> Two guys got stuck. I'm sure we'll see that. But um. Oh, but a couple roaches coming in past. Do a couple of economic damage. Maybe bring down a couple production. He does have a cannon. It's gonna buy him a little bit at a time. And with these stalkers coming in here, there's not going to be a lot of damage done by these roaches. But that really was amazing. This was canceled, though, by the Mutalist Mutalist. Um, he does now have the advantage of maneuverability. But, you know, with with Blink, the stalkers can keep a little bit. They just don't do, you know, maximum damage versus the Mutalists being not armored. And they do their bonus versus armored. Um, but that was really that was really intense. That first battle, you know, Jadong said he's going to make force fields. I'm going to run right past it, make sure I have that surround. He does that. It, predicted the force fields came he ran right past it he had the surround he was going to whoop their butts it was going to be disastrous trade for first for first would have left the game but no he recalled perfect and then not only did he recall he recalled into perfect position with the force fields jadon tried to engage didn't work out over here though coming in they blink away try to get a little surface area for those oh and that that does nothing um and in come more stalkers Ah, oh, but the Lings and the Mutals together are going to do a lot of damage. These Stalkers need to get in a better position. Lings have too much surface areas on these guys. The individual blinking back, that's super perfect. And the Zelts coming to take care of the Lings with the Mutalisks being taken down by the Stalkers. Stalkers, though not a super lot, but they are engaged. They are backed up by that cannon. And the Mutalisks are forced to run away. These are great engagements for first. But look at this. We've got a lot of level 2 upgrades coming up for... Uh, is that level 3? Yeah. No, it's level 2. Level 2 upgrades coming for both players. But you know what? A lot more for the Zerg player who's getting both... Zerg, you know, ground and air. Those mutalisks are going to do increasingly more damage. Um, but here come the the stalkers. He's going to try to take out a stalker or two before running away, but he does end up running away. This is before the change to the overseer. So the overseer is not going to have as good of a chance for running, but he didn't make it, so that's cool. Ling mutalisk. Um, no need for bang links. Not a whole lot of zelts coming out, and he knows, he knows, you know, he's only going to get him a few zelts to try to take care of these links. He's not going to make a lot. I don't need bang links. It'd be a waste of money. I'll waste them on stalkers. I can't micro that much. I just physically am incapable of it. Um, so he's going to know he's going to focus on stalkers because, you know, I have mutalisks. I'm forcing him. He has to go anti-air. He cannot focus super much on my links. He has to focus on the biggest threat. These mutalisks, which, bam, come in, and they can start wiping. Oh, here comes the blink in from first. First is holding his own problem here, though. First is getting all the engagements back at home. He's not doing the economic harass he needs to be doing right now. In comes this. The zealots come in trying to save it, but you know what? It's just not enough for these 2-2. Two, two. Versus one two, it's just not enough. But in comes a backup group to try to take care of it. That's good. But these mutalisks, man, he is really forcing first to multitask over here. And in come the it's just so many mutalisks, and they're getting that upgrade, make increasing their survivability. But that level two is up. Oh, in come the banelings. I was totally way wrong. He did get banelings. Oh, did he just bleed into the banelings? That was a fatal mistake. They didn't almost all get off, but all oh, those banelings, they are kind of being wasted on the stalkers when he called you know, money wise. But you know what? At this point, the money game is in J-Dog's favor. He can afford to waste it and do that maximum damage. In come the, um, the um, Archons to hit both those Mutalists and those Lings, but there's just too much. They're overwhelmed. But that is a good choice. They are countered by the... Uh, is this, is this, down? This, is down. this is bad. You know, uh, oh, there goes finally that, that Corruptor. I don't know. Corruptor must have been a mistake. I, don't, I, can't, I can't imagine why he had it. But the problem is, he's going to be strapped for cash. He is already almost dead. 
uh, on one on one um, expand uh, and his main his expansion's going down. He just he's he's running out of money. Jay Dong is handling this. Look at these expansions. He's just doing so well. Uh, any sort of uh, he doesn't have a fester pit. What did he do that for? I don't see any festers on the field. Well, I guess it's just in case you always need to be able to uh, change if you know need be. Maybe if you went pure stalker, it would change to that. But you know what? The zealots trying to counter to the lings. Now, guess what? There's not a lot of lings. There's only bane lings, and zealots don't counter bane lings. Uh, and with there's just too many mutilists for these stalkers to stop. This looks like the end for first. And a quick look at the timer tells me I'm right. And if we look at the chat, it tells me I'm right. Wow, guys, first did do a really good job at holding this game off. But you know what? The problem was he was only holding off. He wasn't able to do that economic damage. When the Mutalist came in, he was able to kill off enough to just reach that critical mass that they could wipe out these stalkers. And when he tried to counter the links with Zealots, in comes the Bane links, and Zealots do not counter Bane links. He didn't have enough time, or I should say he didn't have enough resources to really warp in you know, enough High Templar to get those Archons to do that, that damage to counter, try to counter these Mutalists or these you know, Bane links. Um, and it's just unfortunate, but you know what? That was Jade Donk's strategy. He says, I'm not going to let you expand. I'm not going to let you do it. I need the map control. Every time you expand here, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to distract you over here on the mules, bring in a few guys, and I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to test your ability to multitask, and, you know, you were found watching. Uh, and Jade just proved that even though first did adjust his play, Jade Donk's just a better player. If first kept the same way, I would have said, I wouldn't have made that comment, but you know what? First changed his play. He made all the necessary changes he needed to make and still lost. Jade Donk just one-upped him. Great game by both players. Very impressed with first and his ability to to learn lessons from his last game and try to beat uh, his player. Very impressed with Jadong to be able to handle those engagements. He, the, that's where he flies out, really. That's where he handles those engagements, where he sees all these force fields and says, you know what, they won't really matter because I know how to work around these force fields. This, this thing that some people call overpowered, I say, doesn't even matter. You shouldn't even bother with them. Why are they even in the game? They don't affect me. I'm going to move around these guys. So just both these players just showing their excellence. But you know what? Jadong does move on. So we're going to see our next game, our next best of three. I'm going to go through uh, season two. You know, it's the semifinals into the finals. And hope you guys enjoy uh, my first casting experience. And I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is Caleb. Signing out.